1952. I go to the Red Cross and I said, can I get out on a hardship? Yeah. They said, yeah, well, you have to get a written thing from the government. And, you know, it's a government. So I put a request in to the government, right? Yeah. Nine months later, they tell me no. <laughs> 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 Sounds like the government. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the government has to take slow. I mean, that's how it works, right? It still works. So I got out, and then I had to stay with my mother, because, you know. And then she passed away in 58. Um, the end of the world. Yeah, more, yeah. yeah. And here's where coincidence happens. I had, I inherited two houses. Like, I'm living in one now, right? So I was in the big one, and the, my mother was taking care of these old people who were in the little house. <laughs> so they had to come and take, take them out, right? So I had the place empty. So I put an ad in the paper for, you know, to rent the place. Who shows up but Helen's mother, her mother and father. <laughs> and he wants to rent it for his mother and father. So they, they, they rent it. So along comes Helen. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. She th I'm going to say this is a joke now. Don't take this seriously. No. She was cutting the grass for them out there. So here she's this cute little girl in shorts out there coming. I said, this is what I need. A cute girl. <laughs> 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 Needless to say, about a year later, we got married. Oh. Yeah. That's how that worked out. Oh. Anyway, then, from then, we went and I... Open a business. I got the. I bought into the business on Main Street in Sable, right by Greeley Avenue. You know where that restaurant is? We used to have a Christmas party there, I think, once or twice. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. On the corner of Greeley and Main Street. That's across from that subway is now. Yes. Right across the street. <coughs> My glass shop was right next to the restaurant. Oh. Okay. Of course, we always. <laughs> At the end of the fight, is to get paid, everybody went over to the ball. <laughs> anyway, I had that place, but it had a picture framing business in it. And I didn't know anything about picture framing. Yeah. So I had to learn how to do it. Mm. You learned everything. Mm. And uh, I got pretty good at it. And then we moved over to Railroad Avenue, next to the movies. That's probably where most of you guys know them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. At that time. Yeah. And I stayed there for quite a while. I, I spent... I had the business for 25 years. I didn't get anywhere with it. I was just making a living and nothing was saved. And then I said, that's it. I packed it in and I walked away. But I took the picture framing stuff home and I started fixing up my garage. I put the car out, I put the car out in the driveway, which Helen didn't like too much. So I, I converted the whole garage into a, you guys, I don't know who's ever seen it. There's, I don't know how many people here take lessons from me, but there was quite a few. I think I've had about 35 or 40 people at this club that took lessons. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, it's quite a few. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of got anything out of this. <laughs> you don't want to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> uh, and then, uh, where are we? Oh. Oh, I got, I, I jumped ahead. Yeah. When I had the business, then I, I went into wet paints. I think in 19... 77, 78, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to know you guys yet, right? No. You were big time in it then, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And Joan was a Your president president. too, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 And uh, the Soto came to visit, yes. right? And right here. Elvira introduces me to the Soto. So I show him some of my paintings. He says, Walter, you need lessons. Really? <laughs> 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 Up to this moment, I thought I was hot stuff. <laughs> Had you been doing art regularly at that point? You know, when uh... I was doing, you see the, the, the old man in the green background? Right, right. You know, that was done without the lessons. Uh -huh. oh, that's they're, nice. they're not well, that's they, like his skin is brown. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's nothing else there, there right? Yeah, there. Yeah. There. I had no idea of color. But you were music. learning. <laughs> I wasn't learning anything. <laughs> 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 And that, and that, yeah, that was calls for that one, but yeah. it's still... How, the, how did you transform that color to the beauty of the room? That's the thing. Mr. DeSoto is the greatest thing that ever happened to me as far as art goes. Yeah. You know, the other best thing was my, mm, you know, <laughs> the boss of my house. <laughs> and here I am. 
<laughs> what else would you guys like to know about me? That brings me up to date just about, except that I'm very slow. Wow. We jumped from 1962 to 2013. This is 1977. <laughs> so now I'm up to 1978. <laughs> what did you do? So then I worked at home. I got into it. Anyway, so I started, all of a sudden I was starting to win all the time. I know. Which I, you know, I, I, I used to win them all every, every, week, every year every I was showing. Yeah. And I was having a lot of fun. Then I met Charlie Ellis, and then I met yeah. Pepper. And we Charlie became Ellis. like three musketeers. We went yeah. out every morning for breakfast, for not breakfast, but coffee. <coughs> and we either went to a deli, or we went to McDonald's, or we went someplace. Yeah. And he was either calling me or I was calling him. Yeah. Unfortunately, okay. Charlie yeah. got That's cancer and he died. That was a rough time for me. He was one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Pepper went, of course. And uh, I got into teaching art. And I think one of my first students was Joe Riccardi. Mm -hmm. Oh! I don't talk, mention that in any <laughs> nice way. <coughs> anyway, then I got Christine came in, Pepper had sent her over. Hey, where are you, Chris? I didn't even see. Oh, there you are. And, uh, <laughs> and I had Christine come up. And she took her a while. She was coming over first to have a picture of Fred, uh, Fred, you know, Matt cut something. And finally she did. She came in with uh, Kathy. Kathy Yoki. Yeah, from the one that went there. Uh, she bought your house upstate, right? She bought my house up there. And then what happened? I just kept teaching classes all the time. It started building up, and I got to the to where I'm up for about four weeks. Four, what days a week doing it? It's a it's getting a hassle. And it's to listen to women talk about it. Let me know what that that about that part. Of uh, tell them about the corn muffins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about Lydia with the experience of. No, we're not talking about that. Let's not get into Lydia. Corn muffins here. No, that's not good. No. Uh, and what else? <coughs> oh. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, my heroes were Walt Disney. Right? I wasn't into. The fine art. In fact, I'm still not here. <laughs> and I used to like the funny sheets. That was big time to me. Dick Tracy, mm -hmm. Terry and the Pirates. Mm -hmm. Terry and the Pirates. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, that was, that was too adult. Little, what was it called? Little Adam. 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 Prince Valley. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, wow. Do you guys ever great. see these cartoons? Yeah. They weren't cartoons, they were masterpieces. Yeah. 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 I didn't find his cartoons interesting, but the yeah. paintings he did were yeah. 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 good. I wish I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I never could. To this day, I still, the first thing I look at is the news day or whatever I'm looking at. I look at the funny shit. That's the only thing I read this Sunday thing. So I think it's worth it. And I, I ask people, and, and nobody reads them. I don't know. I think the art I have a feeling that when I was a kid, I wasn't too smart. Worse. I don't think I am yet. Anyway, I had trouble reading. But what, it, what sort of motivated me a little bit is I wanted to be able to read the comic strips. So it, I think that helped me a lot to learn how to read. Oh, they were ongoing Maybe you were dyslexic. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. no, not that no. bad. No. That, that's a, I can't even imagine that. That's everything the opposite way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No. No. Not everything. Some letters get mixed up. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you want to talk about it, I like illustrators mm -hmm. better than I like 
I think they're better. Aren't they the same thing? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. They used to call a setting at a set, uh, what's his name? Well, 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 they used to call him an illustrator. He's a fine artist. He wasn't an illustrator. But it's almost like a. No, he's a lot more accepted. It was almost like a curse. It was almost like a. Yeah, they used to call him an illustrator. When you work on photography, of course, you were they not considered They did call him an illustrator. But of course, when I took lessons from Graffi Solo, he was an illustrator. Yeah. He wasn't that, a that's artist. how he was making his money. He, 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 he made a living. But the elite artist meant as a as a dance. How do they define that? Mm -hmm. How do you how do you differentiate between fine art and an illustrator? Yeah. There is no an illustrator. It makes it longer. Now let's say it's a, a, a job. It's like a job. A no, is it one of illustrate to a story? No, is it they, did, they did a live magazine cover. Or, you know, they do storyboards. They do storyboards. Not only that, they do only from photographs. If you use photographs, you are a dead fish. No, it's not no. true. Those days, no, yes. Those no, days. Look, my husband was the art director for Grey Advertising. Yeah. And I know what he was. He, what the director yeah, is. An illustrator is someone's telling you how, what to do, I think. You have to you have a job. You have to it's, do, it's more you have to do like, yeah. say, yeah. you... You want something done, then the illustrator, somebody, that's their job to do it. Right. But now yes. illustrators, they use yeah, photographs. They but it's yeah. only photographs. Uh, that's that's about the, the, before. the craft. Yeah. Now, now you can do, use photographs and you can become a master artist. Mm. There, yeah. there's well, a, they there. They all use photographs. Yeah. My, no. training, my training back in the 60s, no. I went yeah. to yeah. college. Yeah. And that was well, abstract expression. I think it depends on We'd go to the said. park and do some drawing. Right. But I never had any <laughs> formal drawing lessons. Um, it was, my training was you do what you want to do. Yeah. And had That's in the 60s, right? Would, yeah. Mm -hmm. and my teachers would come The around. world has started to change then. That I was mean, the cutoff period. So it was a quarter universe now. No, so <laughs> from 60 to 70, the world, the art world started to change. Yeah. That was big yeah. bending. Yeah. Yeah, no, what I was gonna say, Walter, that uh, what I read about Norman Rockwell, people in his uh, when he had his country home, when he did like the painting of Thanksgiving. There were people that lived close by that he yeah, took yeah, as models yeah. Yeah. to make those paintings. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. but they called him an illustrator, though. Right. Right. He was an illustrator. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say something. Yes. I can't get it done. My father raised five children as an illustrator. He did not draw, and this was in the 1950s to present time. He did not draw everything off a picture. There were models that came in. Mm -hmm. I remember them. He had to pay model fees. I modeled for my father. Very good. And there was a lot of times he actually used models, especially when he did the true stories, illustrations for that men's magazine. Okay? And, you know, that's what he did. And he did all sorts of kinds of illustrations. Hasbro, Paramount, Paramount cards. <coughs> Um, worked all over. His last career job was working for um, NBC. Started out whatever Huntley Brinkley, and then it went up to the Today Show and everything else. He did the courtroom sketches. He did the heads that they used for the people. Wow. Yeah. So there was a lot more <laughs> than, <laughs> than just drawing from a picture. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why I had the No, Rockfield the was Solo a, used to do the same thing. thing. Yeah. He had the same one all the time. He yeah. yeah. used when he did his pulp magazine yeah. covers. Yeah. With the, the guy with the gun and the, uh, yeah, the pretty right. girl and the all that stuff. Mm -hmm. He actually had, mm -hmm. he used to do a lot of religious stuff. And he had, <laughs> what? The baby dolls that kid little girls have, right? And that was Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and he always used that as his life. Mm -hmm. And he had one guy that looked like yeah. Jesus, that, you know, didn't. Yeah. But the stairs looking. Yeah. Just think the guy used to pose up. And Ralph always did life uh, yeah. models. He didn't use photographs. Well, yes. yeah. Yeah, that's the way he was. Just think how simple the world was then, though. No one, no one really questioned anything, not like today. You know, everybody just took it for granted that that's what it was. Walter, did you always want to be an artist? Was that like a no. childhood thing, or did it just sort of like an epiphany no, hit you one day that you maybe you could do that? <coughs> no, it was for fun. Yeah. That's all. For fun. And 
I, it, it's like building something too. Mm -hmm. You know, can I make this thing? Can I copy that thing? I used to copy things out of magazines. Mm -hmm. So any place I've seen a picture, I could do it. I had a I had an English teacher in in grammar school. I think it was in my seventh or eighth grade, I was in. And uh, we didn't have junior high. And he would sit on a high chair. And he was the English teacher. I don't know what teacher. And he'd say, draw me. Oh. And everybody in the class would have to draw him. The only one who could draw him was me. Yeah. 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 And he said one time, he said, he, of course, well, he was a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he used to humiliate you in front of him. He couldn't spell words. You know, and I couldn't, I failed spelling from the first time I started doing it until they started trying to but teach you to write off. And he would I mean, make fun of you when you, could, you couldn't spell the words. But he did, he did say, you know, yeah, he's going to be an artist. I was sort of embarrassed by it. I don't know why, but I was. I was hanging around with guys that thought they were tough. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Who could hit the ball over the fence? That kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I wasn't into that yeah. stuff. Yeah. The only time I got really interested in this was in picture frames. When I first started selling picture frames, a lot of people came in, they were taking lessons. And they would bring in their painting to be framed. And I go, I go, shit, I could do better than this. <laughs> you know, what are they framing this for, right? And then I got interested and I started sketching and I was trying to draw my, you know, my wife Helen and things like that. And then when I, I got to work with the Soto, my God, did my eyes get all oh, your eyes. Oh, he would, I am trying to do something, he'd say, take this color and put it here. I said, what? What, what, where did that color come from? Right? You know? And I put it down and, holy cow, it would work. And he, he opened my eyes to that. And I think that's basically what I'm good at. Your husband, Jack, said something that was amazing to me. He said, I was able to, to paint something that looked good from 10 feet back while sitting right in front of it. And I never realized that. Yeah. And I can I, I know I do that now. I don't have to step back and see it. And I can see people that are watching what I do and they'll go, wow, that looks good. I said, yeah, come up and look how lousy it looks. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever see my I go all over the place when I use the chalk they passed up. And it all looks scratchy. But if you step back that those lines all disappear, right? And it looks great. Yeah. And yet you lay up different colours, one on top of the other, and you well, you know what you got a pretty good uh, yeah, right. color combination. But where do you start a, uh, a portrait? Just, is, there a, is there a certain place that you, that you go all the time? Or Some people they start from point? eyes, you're right. Some people start from eyes and all. Yeah, you start with the eyes and then No, all. I, I, I put a cell on. So, uh, yeah, I've seen that. If you tilt, so if the person's head is tilted, right. I'll, I'll put the line on the tilt. Okay. Whatever angle it is, and I use that. Okay. Then I'll divide it up into three sections. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I have to figure out the angle of the nose. Right. Sometimes when the head is tilted, the nose is straight up and down. That's right. It's not on an angle. Right? Yeah. So you got to do that. Then I get the nose, and my weakness is I make the chins too big. Oh. Right. But that's easy to fix. You just keep chopping into it. Yeah. And you can make it more. <laughs> the nose is where you got to be careful. If you make the nose too long, you're in trouble. Yeah. I'm I still think making I'm, noses and eyes. And and I can chop it off. The last thing I do is, a, is, is the eyes. I only like to, when I do an eye at the eyes at the beginning, I just rub a dark spot where I think they're going to be so I can take it out. Yeah. And if I, after I get it all done, I see, then I start looking to see if, it, if everything works out all right. I'm not looking for a likeness. I'm looking for a symmetrical head. <coughs> that's the, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. And you get the likeness. That's what's amazing. Not, <coughs> not too often. <laughs> ah, you're, you're doing you're yeah, pretty long. I got one of you the other back. I got to bring in you. I like it. You look at it. looks like your character. Anyway. I'm about you finished. mean such stuff? Did you always use pastel? <laughs> Did you use any other medium ever? Oh no, I, I don't know how to use a brush. I hate to paint with a brush. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to take a painting and paint my house. <laughs> really? I don't know. Well, I mean, Walter. If you have a small brush like a pastel stick, I mean, you, you don't think you could translate that with paint? 
I don't want to. I, oh, I tried yeah. to do with the sort of I tried to do paintings. Yeah, yeah I yeah. just didn't do anything. For me. But you like sculpture sometimes. But it, you, oh, yeah, 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 you like sculpture. You were good at it. I found that to be easy. Mm. To take clay, you know. Remember, who's that? Cotton? Out of Anna. Well, His brother. Yeah. yeah he's good. Who's Tony? And he, he did a. He did you. He did it? me. Yeah. yeah. In a way, he did that in so casual. He was form. giving me the sculpture, and I didn't go and pick it up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, I didn't. But I, I found that's too yeah, hard to do. Thanks. I mean, it's, it's, you know, oh, you can, I thought I'd, I'd get a head all out of distortion yeah. and all that. But you can throw <laughs> a little here, throw a little there, and you can make it up. Ah, that's so funny. Because it's a, it's a big water. Then what do you do with the little head? This chunk of clay you got. They've got to get it. You get a lot of money for those chunks of clay. And I said, <laughs> so I tried that, you know, made the one head, and I said, I ain't going to go. Yeah. It's going to cost money. I don't have got that money for this. Because, you know, when I was taking lessons from the soda, I didn't have any money. I was working, but I didn't have money to throw around. So I was going out. I was hanging doors in his house. Yeah. I was painting the bedroom. I was fixing oh, the kitchen in his house. Yeah. Put windows in his studio. <laughs> I ran wires out to the driveway so he could have a light out in the driveway so people could come into his yard. For, for painting. Yeah, so I can get lessons out of it. That's how I was getting my art lessons, a lot of them. Even like that, that. Put a couple of storm doors on his house. Did he work in pastel? Oh, for That's the only thing pastel? I work is pastel. No, but to soda. Did he work in pastel? Oh, he worked in everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've seen him well. I'm a total amateur compared to what he could do. My guy was unbelievable. He did everything. You name it, all the media he could do. And if you went to his studio and you didn't buy, he'll let you know. Oh, he blasted me. You know what's funny about him? I sort of do it too. Is, uh, he would work on the students' paintings in the, shop, in, in the studio while they were taking lessons, right? And when I first went there, I walked in, and I'm looking at there was about four or five people that, that you know, I'm looking at their art, and I go, oh, cow. I don't belong in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I would sort of watch for a while and I go, son of a gun. I mean, he was doing that for me at the beginning. He would show, you know, color down. And you know, when I saw the color, like, wow, this is fantastic. And these people were all, there was actually people coming with commissions for portraits. <laughs> and I was doing them for them. So, yeah. I mean, it was unbelievable. <laughs> Bill Chris used to do that. Yeah. But I get, and they all were, and then if they weren't doing that, they were doing it from a picture they got out of a magazine, you know, Frank yeah, Sinatra yeah, yeah. or something like that. And what I did is I went out there and I would bring my stuff with me and I'd put a setup on the table and I would draw the setup. I didn't copy anything out of paper and any pictures. Really and that's the only way to learn how to yeah. paint. Yeah. You work no, on pictures and photographs, you're not going to get anything. No. So that's just start to make your eyes, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that worked out for me good. Uh, I've gotten carpal tunnels. So oh, syndrome, yes. Yeah. And I found I couldn't hold the pastel in my hand anymore. Yeah. And I'd be holding it, and the next thing I knew it was on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know I, I, I dropped it. Yeah. And I went and had the operations with this, you know, where they go in here and yeah. they go in here, each one. Right. It did a little bit better. But what I did is, to compensate for this, I started sketching in charcoal. You know the thin sticks? Yes. So I kept an eraser in one hand and charcoal in the other. And I would make rough sketches of the portrait that way. Until I got something that was fairly good. And then I, I think, I don't know if there's any of these. I started doing the whole portrait <coughs> in pa pastel pencil. Because there's quite a few colors in pencil. I could hold the pencil. You know, because you can it like this. I mean, I'm, I'm to the point now where I scribble. I can't go in, you know, and go, I can't do it. And I'm shaking, so. I mean, come on, I'm in my 80s. Well, it's got to happen, right? It's got to happen. So between shaking and pop with that hell, I... You got a good painting. Here's an abstract. <laughs> Here's an abstract. I had a couple of paintings I thought I grew up, but I guess I didn't. And it shows how I got them pretty good now. Back, I'm, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I was really bummed out here for a few days. Nothing was happening. I couldn't draw that. No sign. I mean, I could show people. How long did it last? 
But the problem of the problem. Well, it's been a few years. But I'm getting adapted to it. You got to yeah. you got yeah. you know, to roll with the punches. You, you worked your way out of it. I mean, is this the best thing I have? I mean, there's people out there. I've had students dying on me from cancer, lung cancer, and all this. I said, I can't be bitching about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm adapted. The charcoal works. Great attitude. So that. And I found that you can just take your hand and take it off. Where you can rub it in, you get yeah. a different value. It's, yes. I've never used charcoal before. <coughs> anyway, I think I'm about out of it, guys. Do you like you still like else? better than portrait? Or vice versa, or equal? Or? I like them both, but the trouble is that I'm fascinated with portraits because I can't do them consistently. Right. Um, In fact, I think it's better it is that way. I think if it was too easy, I'd get bored yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? I feel like you always have to learn something because yeah. you're not getting it the way you want. Still life is frustrating because I only like to do that live, but sometimes, yeah. it, most of the time, you start the setup and you go, wow, that looks great. Then you start to draw it, right? And it goes, <laughs> this looks terrible. <laughs> you know, right. I don't know if you guys have done this. I saw my papers the other day. And it's like, it's like a crap shoot. You, you set it up and you oh, Joan here. <laughs> you want to go out of your mind and have her try to set something up for you. Ah. It goes into days. <laughs> oh, she eats the peaches. <laughs> right there, you know what I'm talking about, right? She used to drive me nuts. <laughs> and then I found you can't put any thought in it. Right? Just put it up there. And then I always try it. Sometimes it works. But it's, it's one of the things you don't know what's going on. Well, did you take a, a lesson from Daniel Green too, or one yeah. of his classes? I want to tell you, I didn't learn anything. No. Because I learned everything I did from DeSoto. But Daniel Green is good. Yeah. He's fit. He's unbelievable. Let me put it that yeah. way. Okay. Fantastic. You see the cover in the latest magazine? Yep. Yeah. Yes. The girl, was she on the phone or something? Yeah. And there's this painting, and the whole thing is a painting. At first, when you look at it, you think it's a photograph, mm. and then the painting on the wall. But it's, it's, I know. Is that his wife that did that? Wendy, his, his that, wife, that is his wife. wife. He's, uh, he's had a few words. He's had a few words. That's his wife. Yeah, 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 that's his it's very close to the state line going to Connecticut. Is it Connecticut or Massachusetts? Connecticut. He's right near the border. But it's a great big cow barn. And on the bottom, he tries to sell you his books and stuff. Then you go up to the next level. And I went out there and it was, I think it was around the 4th of July. God, it was hot. He had no air conditioning. I was in this. For a whole week, for, mm -hmm. he started at 8 in the morning, he's painted till 4 in the afternoon. I went out of there, I was soaking wet and sweat. I'd go home, I'd, I'd collapse on the bed. I didn't even want to eat, I didn't want to do anything. Oh, that was one of the richest weeks I've ever had. My, I never painted like that before. Did you ever try to do that for a week straight? Get up and work for 8 hours and then, and then he wants to come back and I can watch him demonstrate. He was, he was very good. That's why, he's, that's why he has five wives. <laughs> but if any of you guys have ever seen his stuff up close, not just in magazines, it's an, it's an education. Well, uh, Tom had showed me uh, his, uh, the video, Tom, by uh, Daniel Green. Oh, yeah. Pastel. <laughs> and you watch it, and you wind up falling asleep after oh, a while. Yeah. Oh, he's very slow. He's very slow. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you know, slow day drives you nuts. <laughs> but even when he talks, and they speed it up in the, in the video. <laughs> <laughs> you but have you to gotta, stop the goal for gotta, an you, hour or so. You've got to see his paintings in in person. Yeah. They're not. They don't. They look ten times better than they do in the magazines. Well, it is very good. You ever see that old man that he has with the 
Oh, Isn't that hanging at, permanently at the National Arts Club? We'll see it, Cindy, when we go. That's an amazing painting. I've seen it. We'll see it. But he would do a whole portrait at uh, at night, mm-hmm. and he would do. I did. I think when I was there, he did three of them for the whole week. First, but Sunday he did one, then he did in the middle of the week, and the end of the week. He, he, yeah, you got your money's worth as far as that goes. But the trouble was, there was too many people in the room. He had two setups, like almost as many as this room in one spot, because the barn was enormous. It was twice as long as this room here. And the other group was way down the other end of the thing. You couldn't even hear them. He believed in volume, apparently. Oh. <laughs> but the place was hard, so. God, it was nice. But he, how can I teach him that many I think he came back maybe three times a day to get to get easel. Mm-hmm. He would just say a few things. Mm-hmm. So no, he left you alone to do Two more. more. Yeah, yeah. And then, he saw what's going around everybody. Uh, the only thing I found out is I wasn't the worst in the class and I wasn't the best. I was sort of in the middle. So I didn't feel too bad. There's a seat over here, Alma. Yeah. Anyway, kids, I think that's about all I'm worried about. You guys have got anything else you want to know? Or don't know, or what? You want to tell us a little bit about your work and how you work? Or your painting? Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> this, these are paintings I did, I didn't know what to do with. I had them sitting around and hanging on pins, you know, things like that. So one day I said, I gotta do something, I'm gonna start ruining them. And so I cut them all out and stuck them together. Mm-hmm. I think that one in the upper corner, mm-hmm. I did that out at uh, Bill Sheridan's uh, night yeah, workshops we had. Can you put that up yeah. on the table? Yeah, you can't see it. Walter, could you put that up on, on something higher? Not really. Somebody else can. Do I want to read the end? It's like, I can put it against the wall. Oh, that's nice. Push it back a little more so it doesn't slide. A little more. Yeah. I think it's pretty thin. That's Lydia. Yeah, she yeah, thought she was an Indian, I think. <laughs> yeah. Which I like. That's Lydia? Yes, Lydia. Yes. This is a long time ago. This is yeah. the young Cher. <laughs> oh, she was. I fancy you. Tom? Oh, yeah. You were in the room when we did this together, didn't we? Yeah. Was yeah. Point on this one? Yeah. Yeah. We sent that out at some quick sketch book. It's like a small hour. It was one of my shirts at home. It's a little sketch book. Yeah. 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 I like it. It's always a... The block and tackle I have in my garden, that's Helen holding the glass. Oh. And she wasn't happy doing that. Cause <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to do. I, in 90, 1995, I had a heart attack. Oh. And I came home and I'm recuperating. And the lady comes in and she says, Fran, it was Fran Rogers. I don't know if you know Fran Rogers. No? I, yeah, she I goes do. around and does yard sale things. You know, for people that want to sell a yard sale, she'll do it for them. Oh. That's one of the jobs, but she did jewelry uh, for, for jewelry stores in town. Mm-hmm. She was pretty talented. Anyway. <laughs> yes. I went back in the hospital again and had to, another stent put in. You know, like and I came home and then I finished the book. <laughs> anyway, there was a heart attack in between the beginning and the end of the writing. But she liked it and I liked it. It came out and I came out very nice. I was very happy with it. That's what that one is. The poppy, yeah, that's pretty somebody cool. in my class was doing that. Mm-hmm. And they had a poppy here, they had another poppy here, they had a poppy here, and they were awful. Awful, awful. Yeah. So I like the idea. I said, do you mind if I take the painting that you saw? But she's thrown it away. She said, yeah, OK. So of course, I did it over. And I put it in, and I had one honorable mention. <laughs> That's the video too. That was done in here. Yeah, it is very yeah. important. Uh, this one, 
I don't know what I did this. I forgot. But I like the yellow against the purple. Yeah, they're very pretty. And I think maybe I went a little too much with that, but I sort of, I like the idea of the challenge of trying to do that. Yeah. It's like a bonnet. Yeah. Anyway, it came out nice. You have done that. So you have done that. And we could do that. But she goes and buys it over at the Phoenix Gallery. And I said, I need to do that. I probably would have given you some of it. <laughs> and that one over there I gave to Doug on the, when he got married. And I sort of like that. I love my apples in that one. Yeah. yeah, that one came out. I'm looking too happy with that table. It's not too good. But I like the one. And that silver bowl yeah, was hard. Silver bowl that bowl. was hard to do. I mean, I had to spend a little time trying to get that pretty accurate. I think with the with the stillage, you have a lot more freedom to do what you want. Than, yeah, yeah. The, and it's more it's more interesting probably. Too. Yeah, and yeah. It's, but you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Anyway, that came out looking real nice. And that's about it. Oh, oh, that yeah, right. well, I recommend you guys look into my your, your book, your my book. book here and stuff. All right. Yeah. I showed you the, the you know about the. Uh, Photographs Walter, yes. show them the Soto, the, the portrait, yeah, that's, that's the Soto. Amazing. That portrait right there. That's that's oh. Raphael de Soto. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is my hero. You should have that in a frame, Walter. Yeah. Well, that's a copy. Is, oh, is, copy. is it? That's oh, okay. just a copy. I have his, a copy of it, too. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, and it looks exactly like the original. Wow. Yeah. The funny thing about it is he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, he was sort of, the head was... Really holding, he was. He was holding his head up. He was turning. He was really. He actually fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, though. Yeah. It is. It's, it's like and, a typical 1940s artist. But you know what? Yeah. And the, one of the funny things about this, I got criticized with this painting by a lot of people who said, "Where's his neck? Yeah. And his shoulders, right?" And I said, "Well, that's his hand doing that." I like the yeah. Back, yeah. Yeah. But I can tell you that, and I sort of like the way it is, you know? I mean, I didn't do anything else with it. And besides that, we have a time. I don't think yeah. I had more than half an hour on this. Because oh, wow. I think if we didn't have the wow. hand there, it would make a difference. It would oh, look course, stupid. Right? But yeah. with the hand there, I don't the know. The hand, that's the interesting yeah. Yeah. That's like a base for it. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. 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 I was very happy with this, but it was a very quick sketch. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. 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 You know what it is? I love it. It's kind of I think you might have it from. You yeah. have your lucky shirt on, as <laughs> Annie's father would say, right, Annie? Yeah. <laughs> and you do a good painting. You never know when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys do some portraits, but some people you don't connect with when you're trying to draw them. You know, you try to draw, them. you know, you look at the person, wow, that looks like that'd be a great portrait, right? And you end up with junk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happened with that one up on the top there. I had another one I did like that. Day. I didn't think that was going to work, but it did. Yeah. Everything worked out on it. That's what I like. Do, do you paint in strings? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you get bummed out and yeah. you don't do nuts or whatever. Yeah. yeah. What else? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Did you guys see all these old things I did, sketches when I was a kid? No. Yeah. Yeah. This is when I was 18. I was 1949. Yeah. Because the art teacher I had then told me to, get, to do commercial art. You can make a living at that. You're not going to do anything with fine art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was, I was always proud of that. Yeah, but you did very good. Sketches. Walter, show them around. <coughs> Pass it around. I want to see them. Yeah, they're amazing. They're all the brands I didn't see. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you're, when you're growing up and you go going to adult and you leave your house and stuff stays in your house and your father and mother, it's it's over. It's over. You come home and everything is gone, you don't know where you went. This is about the only... I don't know why they, they survived. I have no idea. But that's when I was doing sketching. Now 80% of the clothing is gone. Do you see that it's a, it, it, it really dated? With the hat. With the hat. But you know what I'm saying? They're wearing the hat. I don't remember why I did that. <laughs> I don't know how I did the 
Yeah. 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 It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's soft and it's sexy. Yeah. 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 Ye
Okay, uh, will Tanya hear any of that? It's her question or her... Let's hear the question. Oh, you just talk about those sketches of the... Fashion. Oh, the fashion. She thought they were beautiful kind of girls. Uh -huh. Not mine, but what she would see in more than Taylor's kids. Right, right. But what, you know, what's interesting is, but I never thought of it before, they're dated. You can, you can almost tell by what they're wearing. How yes. old they are. Yeah, you really talented guy. Really and and, and no, you know what? You know what? Bless you. And very you know, what school, you know, you know, just, just something you had. You can see that the as far as landscapes go, I don't particularly like them. Yeah. Because the only way I wanted to move is to go sit out in the field someplace and rain. And I've never been very good. I'd like the bugs out there. The light changes all the time. I know. You're in a cloud, but it's a different cloud. I like the control situation. The sun, of course, it keeps moving. Yeah. 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 What else can I tell you? I like it. You've never had it before. No, just the sun. Yeah. I'm just saying that you never really went to school. I put it. No. And you learn the jobs. Everything you learn on the job. Walter, when you start a still life, now you have like two. Yellow, green apples, and green, and just pear and apple, like this up and the purple vase. And do you put down like a middle local color first, and then work back and forth between the light and dark, or do you just start like the green pear? Do you start with a sort of a middle green tone, fill in the whole thing, and then I do the dark. I divide it up. I put this in dark. So right, right up front, you're putting in the actual. Actually, no, I put it in as dark as it is here. I do the whole thing like this. Okay. Then you come back with a, a slightly lighter green. Right, right. To, to bring out over here. Right. And then you, you just play around with what how light green you want to use. Okay. I would think that would be easy. That's easy. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm good at apples. <coughs> I love <laughs> apples. <laughs> Portraits, forget about it. Maybe I do one once, so maybe I can't. I, I, I wouldn't want to try to make a living at Did you ever portraits. have a black and white portrait? <laughs> somebody else should put it in color. No, I wouldn't do it anyway. No. And I don't like group portraits. You know, you do one that comes out lousy in it, the whole thing is in it. Yeah, yeah really. You got a point, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's tough you do enough for one person's eyes right? and get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a mistake. I'll make it in one. I'm gonna run it for two or three. Well, I, did, apple. I did three kids. <laughs> yeah, I did three kids once, but I, I traced it. Yeah, that's all. I mean, and a lot of people do that. Yes, I, when I first started doing that, I used to use a pentagraph. I don't know if you guys know the pentagraph. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Then I, I used to do that. I would lay it out the size that I want, and I'd use a pentagraph. And then I would, and then I would finish it up. And what I found is the customer doesn't care how good a portrait is it. So long as it looks like the person. Mm -hmm. right, right. I mean you could do the crappiest painting that with no value. The values should be all off everything, right? Yeah, and you can love it so long as it looks like the person. But they have no idea what's a good art and what is They're it. uneducated. That's, that's but wait, so I used to say, to how am I going about That would be a good thing. <laughs> just, tra just trace it so it looks like it's a good person, right? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. give it some to the folks. 95% of people buy art don't know what they're buying anyway. And 95% of portrait commissions that I've done are being traced. Even I picture that one over there, the princess or whatever the name is, I bet that was traced too. They took photographs of it, right? They lined it up with what they want. 
I mean, it'd be crazy to try to paint it unless they re unless they paint it green. What's that guy, John Howard Sandin? Yeah. Yeah. Man, ever seen John Howard Sandin make a portrait? The last thing he paints is the eyes. That was in Denmark. I he was doing one time in uh, we were a group, and I says, sir, I says, do you always paint the lines? Can you really put the lines? On the page, and so I didn't make them young. He gave me the dirtiest of books. He said, what? <laughs> there were 200 people and I had to ask this stupid question. I was beginning and I was hoping to write. Oh, I wanted to know how he does all, you know. Yeah, but he was good, but he could never imagine how he never tried doing a portrait without the eyes. And he would just go, boom, 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 when the eyes were done. And then I said, pain is done. He was good. But he was fast. He could do a portrait and you're done. Get out. <laughs> I've seen him at the Art Student League one time. Did you go in with us? I think I remember with uh, Bill Sheridan and the group. I think Marlene. We all went as a big group and sat there and watched it. We went up to, we went up to, we we see Green. Remember the time we, we all drove up to Green's place up there in Mosta? Came home at about 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we, we used to do an awful lot of things as a group. We don't Larry. do it anymore. Where? John Howard Were you with that midnight group? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I didn't remember. I remember we, we went as a group, but I don't remember if you were there. Bill, uh, <coughs> you were there? Bill Frist and. Uh, yeah, there were a whole oh, bunch of us. Remember we came to play at the night? No, I'm good. I knew how to get there because I think I, cause I had been there for the year. Uh, but it was way in the woods, this place was. But uh, he was a slow painter, right? I mean, he did the portrait, and he got it done. Well, I tell you, your story is uh, wonderful memories. Yeah. All along. Yeah. I, think I, I think I'm in this club close to 40 years, guys. Continually. I mean, I didn't want drift away, John. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-seven. 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 Because I came ten years later. Yeah, I was just a kid when I I think I was only in my 40s. Everybody else was very old. It's a test. We're only in the audience. Yeah, but we used to have so many people together. Fire buses and go and do. And the groups that we met. Anybody have any other questions? Or anything else they want to talk about? Okay, you're on framing too. Oh yeah, I do my own framing. Oh, there's another thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this stuff without, without doing my own framing. Oh, my God, go out and pay for that. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I don't charge you much. You know that. No, very reasonable. I mean, if you go down to the framing place on Main Street and Sable, you know, oh, you're going to pay it for Main Street and Sable. Sure, yeah. you're going to pay $100 for it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I always think, Jack, you say, remember, they are charging, they're paying so many thousands of lunch, they have to make up for lunch. So I always sympathize with that. So my students get bargain prices. Get <laughs> <laughs> you coming in the door and going out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> she does only, no, no. She does landscapes, which I thought was No, no. She does beautiful still life. Yeah. What's, the, what's the favorite thing I always say to you? Don't do that. Oh, with the... When you're doing something, remember when you're taking a lesson, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't do that. 
<laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I mean, wake up in the middle of the night here and don't do that. <laughs> Put that down. Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, some of my, my rules when you do pastel is don't hold the same pastel and you have more than... Five seconds? <laughs> yeah, ten seconds. Yeah. Put it down, pick another one up. Yeah. I think I've, I've um, repeated that rule to some people in my... Yeah, it's, yes, she has. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Quite a few times. <laughs> put that down. She'll beat it into you. <laughs> and I will say, put that down. <laughs> I have done that. <laughs> she jumped once. <laughs> put that down. Oh. Yeah, I know people have told me they, they hear my voice when they're painting. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> I know I hear the sorrow tell me things yeah. all the time. Yeah. I'll even say, why did I pick that up? <laughs> if I pick up the wrong one, like, he'll kill me if I use this. Is drawing versus just using the using the pastels. What was that again? I, I can't figure that question out. In other words, when you do, you don't draw, you don't sketch anything. You you <coughs> yeah, well, well, just lightly, right? You don't really yeah. draw it there I, and then yeah. like what I do. I draw I, it and then paint. I did precise drawings at the beginning. But I don't do that anymore. Right. Okay. That's what I want to know. You know, the other thing I like to do in my drawings is don't show lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think one of the best things about a painting is to make it without lines. Right. <laughs> In other words, if you want to divide something up, you make one value different than the other. So yes. you, well, simply in one color, they've got to be yeah. And you'll find that your painting will look much better if you do this. Right? That means there's certain things you've got to have a line for, but very few. Yeah, we want to color. Did you ever think of making a tape teaching? Explaining painting what you do now? What's that? Making a taste. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys tired of sitting around? No. Can I ask you a question? Do you do a little different style of working when you do a still life as when you do a portrait? It seems to me that your portraits sometimes incorporate the background into the color of uh, the shapes. And uh, it seems very, very solid when you do the still life. I don't know whether that's always so, but it looks that way from here when I see. And, oh. and I like both techniques. I'm not criticizing. I, so, yeah, I know what you mean. When I first used to do this, I used to, I was obsessed with the idea of not doing the background. background yeah. And I thought it looked pretty neat because, you know, pastels are sloppy. Yeah. Did you ever try to do a pastel and not make Walks yeah, outside yeah, of the door. Yeah, yeah. So I, I used to do that with, I was obsessed with that. I was trying to do it without showing you. Yeah. But then I found, it, and I st the backgrounds are very hard to do. They're harder to do than the damn subject. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. yeah. The basic thing is you, you make the backgrounds dark on the light side and light. How am I doing that right? Mm -hmm. I know the dark side. Well, they make the backgrounds dark on the light side and light on the dark side. You know what I mean? Now, yeah. 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 you yeah. put the background first, yeah. and then the yeah. uh, and it works. Well, light against stuff. See the dark sort of objects are dark on this side. Yeah. Right. So you make the better side light. Oh, okay, right, right. This is yeah. light over here. Right? right? Well, the light side, so you make that side dark. Right. Yeah. You wouldn't have a shadow. Yeah. And then you yeah. it helps your painting. Right. Yeah. Do you place the background last, or do you place? Uh, I don't like use it if I think it, that it would help. Sometimes I. Jack used to be able to do it as he was doing the painting. I see that. I used to watch him. I found that hard to do. Do you now that you do the background so beautifully? Do you apply that blue there, that blue black? Do you apply it a uh, uh, last? No, it's not. It, it, there's, not there's not a lot of pastel on there, really. Unless I've been screwing it up. Uh, you know, <laughs> <trying to hide laughs> something. You want to, you know, I'm a pretty sloppy painter now. If you look to that, that art show we're doing, right? Yeah. Those are pretty sloppy paintings. Yeah. <laughs> but I sort of like them. They're sort of unfinished, and, yeah. but they're scribbly. Yeah. Of course, they're just damn shapes. Yeah, but that's your style. They're not done like that. You're scribbly. You're scribbly. You're scribbly. You're scribbly. You're scribbly. You're You're scribbly. 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 You're so I got to like it. And that's I why I use. Paintings that's, like that. that's why I like middle tone paper. Yeah. yeah. You don't need the background. 
That's another trick in pastels. And <coughs> you want to guys hear it. That simple trick in pastels is you use the background as the middle tone. The darks have to be darker than the paper, and the lights have to be lighter than the paper. Yeah. And you'll be, you'll be amazed how many people can't figure that out. You give them color, they can't tell what, 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 what's light and what's dark. Yeah. And I, I, you know, it's. And you you, know, no you teach time. people stuff like this. I guess, Carrie, you have this problem, right? And you tell people this. And you turn your back on them, they'll do the exact opposite of what you told them to do. And you go and you walk away, and you go, I don't know. And it's like holding Hearing the wall. Different. Yeah, some people just don't, yeah. don't pick it up. Yeah. Color, you know, values in color are very hard compared to values in black and white. Mm -hmm. Black and white is simple, right? Black, then you're going to gray down to white. You do, that, you do that with reds and greens and blues, and you'll find people get totally lost yeah. into it. Well, you, know, need you, the color wheel. you need the color wheel. You know, <laughs> well, that's, well, that's yeah. that is part that of the PSA, the Public Society of America. After his name, but he like never this. wants to place yeah. it.